Disclosure. I'm bored making the same videos over and over again. So you're gonna hear from my good friend, Mr. Elian. Hey, let's not have it going, man. Hey, that's kinda weird. I saw one of these, uh, right around, uh, World War II times, I think. I think I saw one of these a while ago. Flew past them. They probably saw me too, but I was blipping between dimensions. Tell me, how do you go about building one of these things? Well, Mr. Alien, I uh, get some Tamiya super glue and put it together, man. Just follow the instructions and go along. <laughs> that sounds uh, really boring, man. I don't know how you get through this every single day. I honestly don't understand what you're doing here. Like, what do you do with them when you're done? Well, some people display them, but personally, I put them in a box and then put them in a closet to never be seen again. Uh, closet? Huh. What are you talking about closet? I've never heard about closet. We probed aliens, but we never probed closets before. Yeah. Uh, this is a hopeless conversation if I'm going to try to explain closets to you. But then you paint these little tiny things. And when you paint them, you're having fun painting them. Airbrushing is a lot of fun. Everybody says it's fun. That's why everybody does it on planet Earth. And after you paint them, then you paint them a little bit more with brushes instead of an airbrush. And you do a little bit of techniques to make them artistic and get some designs out of them and make them look realistic. I can't say I'm looking at this tractor and I'm thinking it's a bit uh, boring looking. I mean, we have cool discs with lights on them, but this is just a tractor, I mean, it's kind of boring. Does it go really, really fast? No. This thing tows things on the ground that go, uh, fast. Not really, really fast, just fast. Uh, right, like light speed or something, or something else. Well, the fastest thing we have on planet Earth is something called the SR-71 Blackbird, and that went Mach 3 plus. So that was 3,000 miles per hour plus. Actually, nobody knows actually how fast it go actually went. Oh man, that's chump change. Chump. You guys are chumps. You guys can't even go 3,000 miles an hour? Man, we got you schooled in that department. It's called interdimensional. Anyways, Mr. Allen, we really don't want to talk too much about uh, this crap that you're talking about here. We just want to figure out how to build a tractor. A little tiny, measly little tractor that goes three miles an hour. Maybe five. And yeah, it's super simple. You use a paintbrush and several different techniques. Some gluing and some sanding. Sometimes sanding needs to be acquired. And then you finish the model by saying, here, it's done. And then you put it in a box. And then you put it away for a long time until further notice. When you move or when you get some slight encouragement to go out in the world and, and uh, show it off at a show, you can do that or show your buddies. Or you could just put it in a box and say, hey, I built that. But it's about the process, Mr. Alien. It's about the process. Assemble, paint, weather, finish, look at it, put it in a box. It's the process, man. If you don't understand the process, then you'll never understand scale modeling. But thank you so much for coming onto the show, Mr. Alien, because you are a good guy. And I can't believe that... Uh, we're seeing spaceships in the air right now. It is wild. Because aliens are here, bro. Aliens are literally here. But it's really, really good to express this to all the viewers and have a little bit of fun with Mr. Alien and have a good interview. Plus, tell him the tiny little bit about the weird, wacky hobbies we do as little itty-bitty humans. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single view and subscriber. As you can say, I was just a little bit bored. So enjoy the rest of the video. Guys, it's chumps. You can't even go 3,000 miles an hour. Guys, it's chumps. 
blipping between the months and Far from your area now, let's get back to building. <laughs>